All right, so for benzene, let's start with this chart. So the benzene ring, like basically, it's cyclohexane, and they have alternate, double, and single bonds. Yes. Now, if you look in some books, right, well, you should see it in every textbook. All right, these two structures can be used to represent benzene. So if you notice, for this one, the double bond is here, here, and here. But in this one, it's in the other places, all right? The thing about the pi electrons, if you remember, double bond contains pi bonds, right? So the pi electrons, even though we give them a specific position in these two examples, they are not stationary. So the electrons are actually delocalized, all right? So these are possible structures. So when they have structures with two bonds, they are not actually stationary, all right? So what we draw is what we call a resonance hybrid. So to show that the electrons are actually delocalized, we just draw a circle inside of the ring. The circle is to show you that the electrons are not actually stationary. All right. So let's just get that out of the way. So this is the resonance hybrid. So we just say resonance hybrid. All right. So just know to draw this. So when you're going to do anything with benzene, you can draw any of these two structures, all right? It doesn't matter which one. All right, so now we get that out of the way, we're just going to name some compounds, all right? Just a second. And so benzene is the parent name for any compound. If you have chlorine on it, so this is a chloro group. So we just say chloro benzene. By the way, function, functional group analysis and mechanism, it starts, it comes straight down to benzene. Right? So benzene is not excluded from it. If you check this syllabus, under the heading functional group analysis, the reactions of benzene, it actually comes underneath it. All right, so this is chlorobenzene. So, oh. I'll end with a question. So this one, it would be bromo benzene. If you notice here, we, we don't have to put a number for this, for the chloro or the bromo. So when it's only one group on it, you don't need to put a number.
All right, so this now it would be one, two, di bromo benzene. The naming of the compounds is not really a big deal for benzene, right? But some special compounds that you must be aware of now are these. So the benzene ring with an OH group, we call it phenol. Benzene ring with an NO2 group, that is nitro benzene. Benzene with an amine group for this one, it's called phenyl amine. It has a common name, aniline. This one is methyl benzene. Common name is Halloween. Let's so can take off these compounds and then we we move on. I'll give you a minute. I can just take the picture of the board. All right, so I'm going to clear the board now and we can yeah. All right, so benzene, it has each position, it has a specific name that we give to it. The next class is on Friday, that's for module two. What time, sir? I think it, I don't remember, I think six minutes. I will check and post it in the community section, but it's either five or six. Okay, thanks. All right. All right, so let's say a phenol, right? Position two, position two on benzene, we call it ortho. Position three, we call it meta. And position four, we call it para. For example, module three will be Sunday, the Sunday before exam, before the Monday. So we have phenol here. If we have a plural here, this is basically ortho chlorophenol. So it is two chlorophenol. But it is in the ortho position. So number two away from the phenol, that is the author position.
Let us say we have methyl benzene and we have something else. So we are adding our bromine to this position. All right, hold on. Let me not put it on this side. Let me put it on this side. So with, with the benzene ring, you can count clockwise, all right? And you can count anti-clockwise. So this position here, it is not one, two, three, four. It is one, two, three. So these two positions on the ring, they are meta, all right? So when you're doing meta, author, and para, it is, it is relative to the group that is already there. So these two positions are meta relative to the methyl group. So for instance, let's do it again. If the methyl group was here, then this is position two. This is also position two. So these would be ortho. Any of this or the here would be the meta position. And directly in front of it would be the arrow position. All right, so just bear that in mind. These positions are relative to where the group is. So if it is up here, then four is down here. But if it is here, four is across from it. So this is carbon one, two, three, four. So that would be para. All right, so we've got naming a few benzene. Now you know about the auto, meta, and para position, which is important for you to know. So just remember position two from any group that is on the ring is auto. Position three from the group is meta, and position four is para.